Welcome to our video on Exercise Physiology. In this video, we'll explore the fundamental principles that govern how our bodies respond to physical activity. Exercise physiology is the study of how exercise affects the body, including our muscles, energy systems, and cardiovascular health. Understanding this field is crucial for anyone interested in fitness, health, and athletic performance. So, what exactly is exercise physiology? It's the scientific study of the body's response to physical activity and how it adapts over time. By understanding these responses, we can optimize workouts, enhance performance, and improve overall health. Throughout this video, we'll cover various key topics, including muscle function, energy systems, and cardiovascular responses. We'll dive into how muscles produce movement, the different ways our body generates energy, and how the heart and blood vessels adapt during exercise. Our goal is to provide a comprehensive overview, making complex concepts easy to understand and apply. As we begin this journey, keep in mind the interconnectedness of these systems and their combined impact on your health and fitness. Stay with us as we uncover the fascinating world of exercise physiology and reveal the secrets behind optimal physical performance. Let's get started. Welcome to our exploration of exercise physiology, where we unravel the complexities of how our bodies respond to physical activity. In this segment, we'll dive into the basics of muscle function, laying the groundwork for understanding more advanced concepts later. Let's start with the essentials. Muscles are fascinating structures made up of fibers that contract to produce movement. These fibers are classified into different types, each playing a unique role in how our bodies move. The key elements are the muscle fibers themselves, which have the incredible ability to shorten and generate force. This contraction is what allows us to perform everything from simple daily tasks to complex athletic feats. By understanding the basic structure and function of muscles, we gain insights into how we can optimize our training and performance. Muscles work through a combination of intricate processes, involving coordination and energy usage, that enable us to move efficiently and effectively. Stay with us as we continue to explore the various types of muscle fibers in the next segment, each with its distinct characteristics and contributions to our physical capabilities. Get ready to deepen your understanding of the intricate world within your muscles. Let's dive into the fascinating world of muscle fibers. Each muscle contains two main types of fibers, slow twitch and fast twitch. Slow twitch fibers, or type 1 fibers, are endurance powerhouses designed for prolonged activities like distance running or cycling, as they can sustain activity for long periods without fatigue. Fast twitch fibers, in contrast, come in type IIA and IIB varieties. They are tailored for quick, explosive movements like sprinting or heavy lifting. Type IIA fibers balance endurance and speed, while type IIB fibers focus on short, high-intensity efforts. Understanding the functions of these fibers is crucial for training effectively for different sport disciplines or fitness goals. Recognizing each fiber type's unique characteristics helps tailor your workouts to optimize performance and minimize injury. As we move forward, you'll see how these muscle fibers interact with the body's energy systems to fuel various types of physical activity. Next, let's explore the energy systems that power our muscles. The body relies on three main systems, ATPPC, glycolytic, and oxidative. Each plays a crucial role in providing energy during different types of physical activities. The ATPPC system is the first line of energy supply, delivering immediate and rapid energy bursts for very short duration, high-intensity efforts. Imagine a sprinter launching off the blocks, that's ATPPC in action. Following this, the glycolytic system kicks in. It generates energy anaerobically, meaning without oxygen, to sustain activities of moderate duration. Picture a 400-meter runner. They rely heavily on this system, which leads to lactic acid buildup, causing that familiar muscle burn. Finally, the oxidative system comes into play for prolonged, steady-state activities. 
it's the most efficient energy system, utilizing oxygen to produce energy sustainably over long periods, fueling endurance athletes like marathon runners efficiently and effectively. You'll see how these systems interact and overlap, providing a seamless energy transition during various physical activities. The ATPPC system is our body's immediate energy source, designed for short bursts of high-intensity activity. Think of a sprinter exploding off the starting line, or the power behind a weightlifter's initial lift. This system operates without the need for oxygen, tapping into creatine phosphate stored in our muscles. Within the first few seconds of intense activity, creatine phosphate donates its phosphate group to ADP, rapidly regenerating ATP, the fundamental energy currency. This powerhouse system is short-lived, providing energy for only up to 10 seconds. You'll see how other energy systems complement the ATPPC system to sustain activity over longer periods. Now, let's delve into the glycolytic system, an essential mechanism for producing energy anaerobically during moderate duration activities. Unlike the rapid ATPPC system, the glycolytic system takes over when exercises last from 30 seconds to around 2 minutes. Think of activities like a 400-meter sprint or a set of high-repetition weightlifting, these are reliant on the glycolytic system. This system breaks down glucose for energy but comes with a catch. The accumulation of lactic acid, leading to that familiar muscle burn. Understanding this system helps us manage and improve performance in moderate duration activities through appropriate training techniques. But what happens when we shift to even longer durations of activity? Stay tuned as we explore the oxidative system and its role in endurance exercises. The oxidative system is the powerhouse for aerobic energy production, making it the most efficient among all energy systems. This system shines during long duration activities, such as marathon running or extended cycling, ensuring a steady and sustained energy supply, supporting optimal performance over prolonged periods. Its efficiency comes from fully utilizing oxygen, breaking down carbohydrates and fats to fuel muscles. This supports endurance and efficient energy use, minimizing fatigue. By understanding the oxidative system, we grasp how our bodies maintain stamina and recover after extensive physical exertion. Next, you'll see how the cardiovascular system responds to exercise, further enhancing our endurance capabilities. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into the intricate workings of exercise physiology. Now, let's look at how the cardiovascular system responds to exercise. As you start moving, your heart rate climbs to meet the increasing demands of your muscles. With each beat, more blood is pumped out to ensure these hard-working muscles receive the oxygen they need. This surge in blood flow is crucial for delivering the oxygen and nutrients that fuel your physical activity. Think of it as your body's natural way of turbocharging itself to keep you going. Understanding these changes is essential for enhancing performance and monitoring cardiovascular health. Next, we'll see how our heart rate adapts to various types of physical exertion. During exercise, your heart rate increases to pump more blood and oxygen to your muscles. This physiological response is crucial for maintaining energy levels and ensuring that your muscles get the oxygen they need to sustain activity. Factors like exercise intensity, fitness level, and environmental conditions can influence heart rate changes. Understanding these factors can help you optimize your workouts. Different heart rate zones correspond to various exertion levels. These zones can guide your training, whether you're aiming for fat burning, cardio endurance, or peak performance. Knowing how to monitor and respond to your heart rate can improve exercise efficiency and enhance overall cardiovascular health. As we continue our journey through exercise physiology, it's crucial to understand how blood flow and oxygen delivery adapt during physical activity. When we exercise, blood flow is strategically redistributed to our active muscles, ensuring they receive the increased oxygen they demand. Hemoglobin, an essential protein within red blood cells, effectively binds to oxygen in the lungs and transports it through the bloodstream to where it's needed most. The fascinating part is how efficiently our body manages this system to optimize performance. 
As your workout intensifies, your body seamlessly adjusts to keep you moving. Stay with us as we delve deeper into these remarkable physiological mechanisms that support our every move. Next, we'll uncover more insights about how our body adapts to regular exercise for improved efficiency and performance. Regular exercise brings significant changes in both the cardiovascular and muscular systems, allowing our bodies to function more efficiently and perform better over time. Cardiovascular adaptations include increased heart capacity, improved blood flow, and enhanced oxygen delivery. This means your heart can pump more blood with each beat, getting more oxygen to your muscles and making activities feel easier. Muscular adaptations are equally impressive, with increased muscle strength and endurance due to larger muscle fibers and changes in muscle composition. These adaptations equip you to handle more extensive and intense activities without tiring quickly. Understanding these adaptations helps us appreciate how regular exercise benefits long-term health and performance. Incorporating exercise physiology principles into training programs is crucial for achieving optimal results. By understanding how muscles function, energy systems operate, and the cardiovascular system responds, we can tailor exercise prescriptions to meet individual needs. This knowledge allows trainers and athletes to create effective programs that enhance performance and prevent injury. Whether you're a fitness enthusiast, student, or health professional, leveraging these insights can significantly impact your training outcomes. As we conclude, Remember that the science behind these principles is the foundation for success in any fitness journey. Stay tuned for a recap of the key points we've discussed. As we bring this journey through exercise physiology to a close, let's recap the key points we've covered. First, we explored muscle function, examining how muscle fibers contract to initiate movement. We then delved into the various energy systems that power these muscles, including the ATPPC system, the glycolytic system, and the oxidative system, each with its unique role in different activities. Finally, we examined how the cardiovascular system responds to exercise, focusing on changes in heart rate, blood flow, and oxygen delivery. By understanding these fundamental principles, you're better equipped to enhance your fitness, training, and overall well-being. Stay with us as we share some recommended resources for further learning. For those interested in learning more, we've compiled a list of recommended books, online courses, and research articles on exercise physiology. These resources will deepen your understanding and provide more detailed insights into muscle function, energy systems, and cardiovascular response. Whether you're a fitness enthusiast, student, or health professional, these materials will support your ongoing education and professional growth. Dive into these resources and continue your journey towards mastering exercise physiology. Check the links in the description for easy access to these valuable tools. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel. Like this video and share it with others who might benefit. Also, we'd love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment below. Your support helps us create more educational content on exercise physiology. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more informative videos.